the second document that you need to confidently negotiate for top dollar. Hi, this is Dennis Isip from Haven Real Estate. Let's walk through the different uh, sources of information when setting your selling price as a seller. Number one, of course, is the seller's expectation. And this could be based on perhaps they need the money in order to buy something to move forward in their lives, or maybe it's a neighbor selling a certain price, or maybe it's something that they saw on Zillow. The second source of information is the listing agent's recommendation. And this is going to be based not only on the recent sales in the neighborhood of comparable homes, but it would also include any existing competition or houses, neighboring houses that are currently uh, on sale or will be on sale at the time the seller lists it on the property. The third one is rarely used and it's called the broker's price opinion. It's usually called on uh, by the banks uh, when a property is bank owned and they want to determine a value. A normal seller wouldn't normally be uh, using this. The fourth one is what most sellers would be encountering and that is an appraisal. Regardless of uh, what their expectations are or the seller's recommendation and perhaps even the buyer, the bank uh, would set a maximum amount uh, of what it would lend to the buyer. Uh, assuming of course that the buyer is financing it, the bank will call on an appraisal, a professional appraiser who will then look at, well, what is the maximum that we are uh, willing uh, to lend money for this particular property. It is this document, appraisal, that I would recommend that a seller would get. And there are different kinds of appraisals. There's a drive-by appraisal and there's a full-blown uh, appraisal as well. Regardless, as a seller, you need to use this document in order to negotiate confidently uh, in the sale of your home. Let me give you a, a case study example. My seller had an expectation of 138000 In this particular case, uh, there was a certain minimum that they needed in order to move on to the next project uh, in their lives. I was more, a little bit more conservative and I was recommending 130000 instead. Now, a buyer came along, a cash buyer for that matter, and offered 132000 being that it was a cash offer, it was marginally acceptable and my client uh, decided to go for it. Unfortunately, the buyer was asking for uh, a replacement of the heating unit and that would have substantially uh, brought down the net price uh, for my seller. So with confidence, because of an appraisal report, the seller decided to decline that first buyer and fortunately, a week later, we had a second buyer who made a full price offer. And with that, the transaction closed uh, at the price that my seller was expecting. So to summarize, the lesson is appraisal report is what I would highly recommend. Because again, it is a black and white document that you can show to any potential buyer and give them the comfort level or the confidence of making an offer. Uh, as I've mentioned in the past, one of the apprehensions of a potential buyer is to have thoughts of doubt. Am I getting a good deal uh, for this particular property? And if they see something in black and white that says, oh, you are within the range of the appraisal report, then uh, they are more likely to make an offer. And for that matter, more than likely to get multiple offers from, mul mul from multiple buyers so that in the end, you're going to get top dollar. Okay, that's our video for today and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.